A recent investigative report by the website Fact Focus out of Pakistan revealed Pakistani Army General Kumar Javed Bajwa and families suspect financial and tax information. The report raises many questions as to the Bajwa family's disproportionate accumulation of wealth during the general's tenure as army chief and to the army's financial transactions in general. In an ironic twist, Pakistan, instead of vowing to investigate the Bajwa's financial situation, has ordered an investigation into what they call the illegal and unwarranted leakage of the family's tax information. And now, with Bajwa's blue-eyed boy Munir taking over, it will be business as usual, with no heads rolling for the rampant corruption plaguing the Pakistani army. Financial mishandling, corruption, and influence peddling by generals for personal gain has been the subject of several scandals in Pakistan. At the beginning of this year, data leaked from Credit Suisse, an investment banking firm registered in Switzerland, revealed information about 600 accounts linked to 1,400 Pakistani citizens. Account holders included several key politicians and generals, including the ex-ISI chief, General Akhtar Abdur Rahman Khan. Exposure like this coming out is nothing new. Uh, it, it has been well known for long. We also know of a case of a Pakistani general who fled from Pakistan and he opened a chain of uh, uh, you know, pizza huts in US. So it's nothing new. It is because the connect of the Pakistan army is not there with its general citizens that uh, you know uh, it has been allowed to get away with all these crimes that it has been doing there's no one to check them whether politically or uh, you know from the media because they're the most powerful entity in pakistan one of the pakistani army's biggest scandals remains its appropriation and sale of land in the name of welfare and providing housing for its officer cadre on august 27 2016 an article titled Lust for Land was published in the Pakistani newspaper Dawn. In the article, Pakistani freelance columnist and former civil servant, Irfan Hussein, exposed the reality of multiplying defense societies and the Pakistani army's insatiable hunger for land. Several other reports from Pakistan have claimed that the Pakistani army is using government land to fulfill commercial interests. The army has built shopping malls, cinema halls, and marriage halls on government land. The military appears to have interests in many land and commercial entities, ranging from petrol pumps to huge industrial plants. Money earned by rentals of these properties is being given to the families of army officers. In Pakistan, many petitions have also been filed over the failure to implement laws to protect lands from the military mafia. Though the Supreme Court of Pakistan has criticized the military establishment in the past for their involvement in commercial pursuits, the practice continues. While Pakistan has descended into a deep economic crisis, military officers have been given taxpayer-funded land allocations worth millions. Well, the fact that today Pakistan is on the brink of uh, you know, uh, being declared a bankrupt nation they have just no money with them. We have seen the recent floods which came in which one third of Pakistan was under water. Now, at that time also, the Pakistan army got a raise of 9% in the salaries. Can you imagine? Pakistan recently ranked 140th out of 180 countries on the Corruption Perception Index 2021 by Transparency International, dropping 16 spots from the previous year. In Pakistan, Corruption is so ingrained within the military that it seems unlikely that the appointment of a new general or even of new political leadership will be able to change the functioning of the country's most powerful institution. As Pakistan descends deeper into economic and political instability, the army's top leaders continue to enjoy an enrichment of power and finances.